Hello everyone and welcome to another live from the workshop. So some of you may remember a while back uh, I did a Rassilon custom in which I made him a custom uh, collar and also added uh, the sass of uh, the sass <laughs> the sash of Rassilon to the front of him. Now, um, obviously with uh, the new version of Rassilon seen in uh, Hellbent, the new regeneration, I decided to give this figure an update. Um, now, his his, his appearance is, is very different. His costume is actually very quite different to uh, how he uh, appears in End of Time. So, I'm not going to completely re-sculpt the, um, the, the uh, torso, the covers, and obviously add on the new Gallifreyan symbols onto the cloak. I'm going to keep all that the same, so it's not going to be identical, but what I have got now is um, I have a proper Time Lord collar that I updated him with off-camera, um, and that, that's currently uh, drying. I've spray-painted that gold, and I've trimmed off the edges a little bit rough, but hopefully they won't look too bad when it's finished. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to repaint this front part um, and possibly the legs as well red or at least burgundy red to match this and then for a head i'm going to be using a constantine head as a replacement so uh, first things first let's get on to our repainting And here is my finished Rassilon custom. So obviously the tunic uh, design is very different to how he has it in the episode, but um, as I said, uh, still not something that I'm great at doing is sculpting, so I've decided to keep it as it is. Uh, the staff is just the standard staff, but uh, for a while I've had this random little fake diamond uh, lying around. Um, I originally had it in my display case as a sort of miniature white point star, but it wasn't big enough for an actual thing, so I thought I'd finally put it to use as the uh, the um, sort of little diamondy globe thing that he has in his uh, on the, on the top of his staff in uh, the episode. Apart from that, it is just a standard Rassilon figure with uh, the um, Constantine Doctor Constantine head. Uh, the only other thing that I have done on this is, obviously I said I trimmed down the edges of the collar. Um, unfortunately, this didn't work. So what I've actually had to do is go around the edges of the collar with the lining, uh, redoing the lining with Milliput, uh, but that is why it does look a little bit rough when you see it. Uh, when you see it, I've got to try and get it. <laughs> I'll just pull the camera out a bit. Um, it's why it does look a little bit rough when you see it close up. Um, but, you know, once it's on display, it actually looks uh, half decent. Uh, the uh, design on the back is just painted on with uh, paint, with a, uh, an old dry pen nib just dipped in black paint. Obviously, it's not a perfect likeness for uh, Time Lord. Um, circular Gallifreyan, um, if anything it actually looks nothing like it, but for the sake of display it uh, it does it looks the part and it certainly um, certainly looks good to me and it's definitely one that I will go with proud display if I bring them in because you will have seen these as well, I believe you'll have seen uh, this Time Lord before, but I also now have this fellow, um, I actually did these, these two roughly about the same time um, but uh, this was one that I was doing uh, off camera. But I've now got the two uh, Time Lords, 
to go with Rassilon and uh, obviously as well I do have my uh, cloister, cloister Wraith as well so I've got a nice little collection of random Time Lords building up. Uh, but as it stands, that is my Rassilon custom. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favourite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. I salute you all, and I will see you all with another video very soon.